So in this video I'll be reviewing Rosehip Oil and I'll be telling you whether it deserves all the hype it's getting at the moment. Keep watching. So Rosehip Oil um, has been exploding in popularity ever since the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, um, has been uh, shown or has um, said that she uses it. And typically you know people see somebody from the royal family is using a certain product that you know if it's good enough for you know for royals it must be good enough for me and the sales have just been going off the charts and of course lots of companies lots of small companies have started producing it and claiming theirs is the best and it's organic this and organic that and so it can be confusing for um, consumers so rosehip comes from the famous rose uh, plants you know the roses that you give to your to your hot date uh, when you go and see them you know those kind of roses and it's the fruit it's the fruit from the plant that is um, the basis of rose hip so what they do is they cold press as in they just squeeze it and get the oil out of it and uh, they package it and sell it rose hip has been around for de for centuries not even decades um, it's you know going back to the times of the ancient Greeks and as I've always said if there's a product that people have been using for centuries and centuries and centuries it is always good because human beings do not use something for centuries if it's not working for them if they're not seeing results people stop using something so i looked at the research uh, for this product and number one there's no doubt this product it is full of vitamins it's full of nutrients it's full of goodness it has more i think five times more vitamin c than oranges and lemons uh, it's packed with vitamin e it's packed with flavonoids and all these things, uh, all these three um, vitamins I named are good for anti-aging, they're good for keeping the skin uh, youthful and plum, they're good for general health, they're good for many organs, uh, you know, kidney, liver, circulation, blood, you name it, they're good for it. So there's just no doubt that this product has lots of goodness in it. You'll be surprised to know that the best research aspect of this uh, product is actually its benefits for arthritis pain. So arthritis is a horrible condition where the joints inflame and the person is in constant pain and it can be extremely debilitating. And um, there was a research, a study in Denmark, which showed that the, uh, rosehip can reduce the pain of arthritis by between 30 and 60%. Um, I've seen some papers, some magazines say that it reduces it by up to 90%, but that's a load of BS. It's between 30 and 60%. In fact, the National Health Service, which is the British National Health Service, publishes this study and recommends uh, rosehip for um, arthritic pain uh, on their main website. So if you go onto the uh, main uh, public website for the um, NHS, that's what they recommend. That's one of the products they recommend for managing arthritis pain. So in terms of rosehip oil, there's loads of oils uh, on the market and um, you know some of them claim to be cold pressed, um, some of them claim to be um, organic and so on. Um, the, the issue with rosehip is not the fact that it, you know, it doesn't have any nutrients, as, we sh as, as I said, it does have loads of nutrients. But the problem is, um, as soon as you start um, messing about with the fruit in terms of like getting the oil out or turning it into a powder or turning it into this or turning it into that, the nutrients in it, like vitamin C, they're very delicate. So as soon as you expose them to air, to contaminants, to water, to start messing about with it, then they just get destroyed and there's, uh, the benefit goes away. If you have to use this product as an oil for your skin, I would say go for organic cold pressed. So that means the seeds or the fruit was taken and squeezed uh, using a machine press. So the oil comes out and it gets put straight into a bottle and you know put straight into market. I would stay away from uh, any creams or ointments or uh, oils that has that have been extracted using bleaches or chemical methods. Uh, this might be tricky to tell, but if you look at the label and you see anything other than say. Um, rose hip, maybe some vitamin E, maybe some other natural products. If you see any chemical sounding name, I would just stay away from it. You just want the cold pressed organic rose hip oil. Uh, personally, I would be more interested in this product as something to take orally. In particular, I think you get the most nutrients when you eat the the fruit, the rose hip fruit, is straight from the 
you know, the plant is straight as soon as possible from the plant straight to your mouth. So if there's any gap, if there's anyone in the middle of that kind of journey, messing about with the fruit and turning it into an oil or powdering it or drying it or dissecting it, it's no good. So I would personally try and maybe get some of the raw fruits, some of the raw organic fruits and maybe make it into a tea or maybe just put it in a salad and just eat it orally. But that's because personally I'm not interested in putting it on my skin, uh, even though I think it would be great for the skin, but I'm more interested in the internal benefits of uh, rose hip. So that's how I would um, use it. But that doesn't mean that you know you should just copy me and just do what I do. If you want to use it for the skin, just go for a good brand, a brand that has um, um, that says on the label it's cold press and it's organic and go for it give it at least a month because that's enough to tell whether it's working for you or not and see the difference of the benefits you might see include um, seeing this your skin becoming more radiant so uh, maybe looking a little bit lighter um, seeing the skin firming up so maybe uh, a reduction in uh, fine lines and wrinkles all these are things that you should notice if you bought a really good brand and you've been using it consistently don't use it for a couple of days and then expect a miracle on the third morning. It's not going to happen. You need to give it some weeks, uh, maybe four to six weeks. So rosehip oil is an excellent ingredient, but it's only as good as the brand you choose. So make sure you choose a good brand. Make sure you choose a brand that has been well made. Spotting that might be difficult. So go by the reviews. Um, look at it. Just do your research properly. Look into if you need to take rose hip orally maybe as a tea maybe as part of um, a salad or something taking it orally might bring as much benefits if not more benefits than using it just for your skin anyway i hope you enjoyed the review hit that subscribe button i do a review say every um, other week or a couple of times a month if you have a suggestion of a review you want me to do leave it in the comments below i'll see you later have a good evening take care